One of the most dangerous food allergies, peanut allergy, is on the rise. In fact, auctioner allergist Dr. Eddie Davis says recent studies indicate that peanut allergy incidents have doubled in the last five years. Five-year-old Sam DeGeneres had just turned two when his mother Robin learned that Sam was allergic to peanuts. He ate um, some Ritz crackers, peanut butter crackers in the grocery store, and by the time we got to the checkout counter, his neck and his chest were completely broken out into hives. Sam's second accidental encounter was a few years later with a pistachio nut. That exposure triggered a different allergic reaction. We knew instantly something wasn't right, something was bothering him. He would say his tongue was itching, that type of thing. Auctioner allergist Dr. Eddie Davis has been tracking Sam's peanut allergy through skin tests and blood studies. In Sam's case, um, he had had a reaction to uh, peanuts and then that was uh, supported with the laboratory tests that showed that he indeed did show an allergic protein to the peanut. Dr. Davis says once a child has a reaction to a food allergen, they should be tested and instructed how to treat symptoms because with each additional contact with that allergen, the reaction may become more severe. 44 inches. Sam is back at auctioner because he did not have an allergic reaction after recently eating a candy bar with nuts. Robin says within a matter of minutes, Sam realized his mistake and she immediately gave him Benadryl. That quick thinking may have prevented an allergic reaction. Dr. Davis says Sam may only have a low grade sensitivity to peanuts and he says there's another possibility. Peanut allergy was thought to be lifelong, but we now know that a lot of kids do outgrow their peanut allergy. A lot of times, even though the blood study or the skin test may still show that they're allergic to the peanut, the best test is an actual challenge. Uh, we prefer those to be done uh, in a, a medical facility where we can watch them very closely. Intentionally exposing a patient to an allergen is a closely monitored test because food allergies can be deadly. The life-threatening reaction caused by allergy is called anaphylaxis. The symptoms include hoarseness, throat tightness, or even a lump in your throat, wheezing, chest tightness, or having a difficult time breathing, and tingling in the hands, feet, lips, or scalp. There are about 100 deaths in the United States from peanut allergy each year. Um, peanuts and tree nuts are probably the most deadly. Um, other forms of food allergy can be deadly, but it's not as um, uh, common. Uh, with allergies to say seafood, um, you may have a reaction to it, but it, it usually does not result in death. Dr. Davis and Robin agree Sam will have a medically monitored challenge to peanuts this summer. In the meantime, she says, she'll closely watch what Sam is exposed to, both at home and at school. Because he's at school, um, wants to play down the street at friends and that type of thing, and so it becomes a little more difficult as a parent to control it and to make sure that, you know, I guess the most important thing for us is to make sure that he's well aware and he asks the questions and, and he has a good insight into what he's allergic to and what, you know, what the packagings look like. And it's amazing how much information that kids of that age can absorb and, and, um, and learn ways to protect themselves. Um, and sometimes it's actually easier to teach the five-year-old than it is the 50-year-old. <laughs> If you would like more information about peanut allergy or other food allergies common in children, contact Auctioner's Pediatric Allergy Department at 842-6742.